Last Saturday, Vanderbilt hosted the Georgia Bulldogs, a nationally ranked team, and brought CBS to their campus for the first time since 1982. They were inspired and played like it. Defensively, they held the Georgia O to just 221 yards. On offense, Patton Robinette, the backup QB, filled in admirably for an injured starter. They even threw in a fake field goal for a touchdown on special teams. It all resulted in a huge win over UGA, 31-27. Now they come to College Station. Here is our opponent preview brought to you by Bud Light, the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. The Commodores will anchor here with a 4-3 and three record. Last year they won nine games and the Music City Bowl. As far as the quarterback is concerned, it's uncertain whether Pat and Robinette will take the snaps on Saturday or Austin Carta Samuels, who has started all season but was injured against Georgia. Robinette went 9 for 15 after entering in the second quarter. He threw an interception and rushed for a touchdown. Robinette again, touchdown Vanderbilt. On the ground, they've got a couple good ones to give it to. Jerron Seymour averages 5.5 yards per carry and has scored eight touchdowns. Seymour, nice move, touchdown. Seymour, a nice move, a little jitterbug. Wesley Tate has four rushing TDs and one receiving out of the backfield. Look out for two very good receivers. Auburn brings five, and this is Evans circling inside, looking for a block, touchdown, A&M. My goodness, watch yep. it, watch out. Mike Evans, touchdown, A&M, 64 yards. A&M may have the best pass catcher in the SEC in Mike Evans, but Vandy's Jordan Matthews can make a pretty good case for number two. He's hauled in 58 passes for 798 yards and five TDs. He is a really good receiver, a really good receiver. He's tall, long, and fast. I won't give away all our secrets. Okay. I'll just We're going to cover him the best we can. Okay. How's that? Jonathan Krause is very capable, too. 29 catches and 17 yards per reception. Defensively, they rank 36th nationally in total yards allowed and are 59th in scoring defense, giving up 26.6 points per game. SEC opponents have scored 38 points per contest against the Commodores. They can get into the backfield. The Aggie O-line must put up a wall. Bandy ranks 29th nationally in tackles for loss and fourth in the SEC. James Franklin has him singing a different tune in Nashville. In the three seasons before he arrived, Vanderbilt was 11 and 26. They're 19 and 14 in his third year at the helm of the Commodores. There are only two members of the Southeastern Conference that Texas A&M has never seen on the gridiron, Vanderbilt and South Carolina. We get our first look at the Commodores on Saturday Next year, we open the season with South Carolina in Columbia. 